On February 28, 2011, an 89-year-old Jane Russell was found dead in her home. Russell was a pinup model, an actress, a singer, and the founder of the World Adoption International Agency. Let's take a look at her life and her sad ending. The Beginning Jane Russell was born in Minnesota to Roy William Russell, a lieutenant in the U.S. Army, and Geraldine, an actress. The American painter Mary Bradish Titcomb made a portrait of Geraldine, and it gained wide attention when it was bought by Woodrow Wilson, the 28th President of the United States. Russell took after her mother and developed an interest in music and drama at an early age. Her mother made her take piano lessons, and she frequently took part in stage performances at Van Nuys High School. She wanted to be a designer, but decided against it when her father died. After the death of her father, she supported her family by working as a receptionist for a doctor after she graduated. Russell also modeled sometimes for photographers to make some extra cash. Her mother, who was adamant that Russell should work in drama, made her attend Max Reinhardt's theatrical workshop, and she also made her take acting and drama classes with acting coach Maria Aspinskaya. Contract with Howard Hughes. She got her first acting role when she signed a seven-year contract with the film producer Howard Hughes. Russell starred in the Western film The Outlaw based on the life of Billy the Kid. The film was made in 1941, but didn't come out until 1943, and it had a tough time with the censorship board because of the way it portrayed Jane Russell. When the film finally got a general release in 1946, it turned out to be a success at the box office. Many people now feel The Outlaw did a very poor job at showing Russell's acting skills since it mostly focused on her attractive figure. In fact, most of the films Russell did with Howard Hughes did little to showcase her talent and ability as an actress. Her next film, Young Widow, came out in 1946. It did poorly at the box office. She starred in several films after that, but most of them failed. She went on to star in films like his Kind of Woman, The Las Vegas Story, Double Dynamite, and Macaw. In 1948, she worked with the film studio Paramount and starred in The Pale Face, which went on to make four and a half million dollars. The Pale Face was Paramount's most successful film of the year. In 1952, Paramount got Russell to star in a sequel to Pale Face called Son of Pale Face, which also was a huge success. Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe her most famous film is perhaps Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, in which she starred alongside Marilyn Monroe. The film earned over $5 million. Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell were good friends on set, and Russell remarked that she often playfully called Monroe Baby Doll or Blondie. Russell starred in a series of successful films in the 1950s, but she felt her acting career started to decline by the late 1950s. In a 1999 interview, she said, why did I quit movies? Because I was getting too old. You couldn't go on acting in those years if you were an actress over 30. Russell's musical career. Before Russell began her acting career, she had tried to start a musical career. In 1947, she recorded two songs with the K. Kaiser Orchestra and also appeared on the album cover of Let's Put Out the Lights by Columbia Records. When she realized her acting career was starting to dwindle, she tried to get back into music. She recorded a song called Kisses and Tears with Frank Sinatra and the Modern Airs in 1950. In 1954, she made a gospel quartet with three members of the Hollywood Christian Group. One of their songs, Do Lord, sold over two million copies and was number 27 on the Billboard chart in May of 1954. One of the members soon left, and they were replaced by Rhonda Fleming, another Hollywood icon. She recorded a solo album with MGM Records in 1959, which also had demo and soundtrack recordings. While talking about the album in an interview, Russell said, I finally got to make a record the way I wanted to make it. She went on tour in 1959 and performed in the musical Bells Are Ringing at the Westchester Townhouse in Yonkers. TV shows and commercials. She also appeared in TV shows and commercials after she took a break from Hollywood, she starred in episodes of Colgate Theater, Death Valley Days, and The Red Skelton Hour. She returned to films when she starred in the 1964 film Fate is the Hunter, but it was clear that her film career had come to an end. In the 1960s, she starred in a total of four films. 
her last film and her autobiography. Her last film was Darker Than Amber, which came out in 1970. She wrote an autobiography in 1985 titled Jane Russell, My Path and My Detours. In the book, she wrote about her relationship with Howard Hughes in detail, and she also talked about her relationship with her high school sweetheart, Bob Waterfield. She was a devout Christian who tried to convert Monroe during the shooting of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Monroe, who attended one service with Russell, said, Jane tried to convert me, and I tried to introduce her to Freud. Monroe later remarked that it wasn't her thing. Her sad ending. Jane Russell was an alcoholic for most of her life, and she went into rehab at the age of 79. She was sent to jail for four days in 1978 for driving under the influence of alcohol. She couldn't have children of her own, so she adopted three with Bob Waterfield and founded the first international adoption program in 1955. Her adoption program helped thousands of Americans adopt children from foreign countries. On a quiet Monday morning in February 2011, Jane Russell died of a respiratory illness in her home in California. According to Etta Waterfield, her daughter-in-law, she was active in her local community weeks before her death. She was one of the most sought-after actresses and models thanks to her beautiful looks, but she could never display her true acting abilities on the big screen because of Howard Hughes who exploited her good looks. Jane Russell has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and she also has her hand and footprints at Grauman's Chinese Theater. Jane Russell was an interesting Hollywood star who, as an artist, dabbled in quite a lot of things. Have you seen any movies of her? Have you listened to her music? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.